Here's team one. Say hi, Ted. Hi. Say hi, Steve. Hey. These two have a ton of skill, and they've got a design that's just awesome. They're more than just intimidating looking fellas. They're warriors, ready to bring it on. And team two. This is Luke. Hi. And this is Greg. Hi. They've got the skill level to match team one. This is gonna be an epic battle. They've got moves, they've got skill, they've got a great design. And this is the war zone, where the seemingly impossible becomes the possible. Two massive decks in two days. The deck designs are ready, time to build. Each team gets the same pile of wood, sweet smelling cedar, and the same amount of time. It's judging time. We've got HGTV icons, Damon Bennett from Holmes Inspection and Builder Bosses Jim Carrick. How's it going, guys? Good, man. Well, how are you, man? Two days worth of work uh, and very unusual projects. And I got to tell you, at this stage in the game, I'm uh, getting a little divided. It's scary, buddy. We're here to help you. <laughs> that trophy is ours. Yeah! We want that trophy. I don't see how we can lose this competition, man. We got this in the bag. Nothing beats a pirate ship. Hands down, nothing. You gotta pick our deck. Why don't we attack the, the pirate ship first and we can walk the plank. I get a smile every time I jump on this deck, I gotta say. You know what's actually pretty cool? As the kids grow, we can slide this up the oh, post. Oh, yeah. Well, I bet you they didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> the judges are behind us now marveling at the beauty of our pirate ship. Yeah, probably just talking about how great it is. Uh... <laughs> the one thing I would say is looking out the back of your your, your door here, mm -hmm. that you'd want to see maybe a little bit of the yard, depending on the yard. I mean, it does really choke it off. It closes but you do it off, doesn't it? Yeah. Full view of the kids, though. I'm not sure anything we did uh, could be interpreted as weaknesses. It's very well put together, actually. Yeah. You know, the miters are actually pretty good for a couple of guys. Their first deck. Wow. This is their first deck. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. You know, generally, it's pretty damn good, I must say. They went for a boat design, and it actually looks like a boat. I just think they could have carved a mermaid into this. I think they had enough time in two you days think? to do that. You think that. they had enough time? It was a little bit lazy on their part, but I, you know, <laughs> I won't hold it against them. I think we reached our goal. We achieved what we wanted with that. And I think our vision was brought out very well. So I think it's, yeah, I think it's the most impressive. And team number two. The medieval theme. Nice. As soon as I walked up here, it was like the space was yeah. perfect. So what I think is going to impress them the most is the functionality of the deck. There's a nice flow as you come out of the main uh, doorway. <laughs> oh, there we are. I think our concept's great. I think uh, a, a kid's going to want to play on that for hours and hours on end. This is pretty cool. Yeah, nice. They're shooting the cannons. Yeah, they're shooting, shooting cannons. Back. They got stuff going on over here. We got catapults going. They're <laughs> probably imagining they were five years old again <laughs> and hiding out and maybe drinking some tea or something up there. Yeah. So we can either take the slide or... Uh, no, we're going I'm going down, down here. Right. You guys didn't even consider the slide. <laughs> this inlay here that they did is pretty good. medallion. Yeah, I like it. Detail is pretty good mm -hmm. on this one. We spent a lot of time really trying to make details stand out. I think we got it in the bag. I, I agree. The pirate ship is, quite honestly, an incredible display of craftsmanship. Not even considering the fact that it was built in two days. The details, the functionality, the fun, it's all there. It's a kid's deck first and foremost, but it's also beautiful. There really isn't much to criticize. Team 2's castle is also very, very impressive. It is the embodiment of many kids' dream deck. A place for privacy. A sandbox. A place to keep toys. And ample room for the adults, too. Again, there isn't a lot to criticize. This was a tight race all along. I guess it's fitting that it ends that way as well. So, this was a brutal, brutal, brutal decision, but a decision did have to be made, and uh, it wasn't easy, I'm gonna let you know right now. You ready for this? The winner of Deck Wars is